the play button. It's an integral part of our day-to-day lives. You see it everywhere. In your home, on the go, and just about everywhere else. This icon and the media symbols associated with it represent the basic functionality of all media devices. We often take these symbols for granted and rarely consider the history that led them to being universally recognized. To see how well known these symbols are, we asked students to identify the symbols and then operate a VCR that had all of these controls removed. The play button looks like a uh, triangle on its side, basically. The play button looks like usually a triangle, rectangular, with a triangle on it. The symbol looks like a triangle on the side. It looks like a triangle. Like a triangle? A triangle. Educated guess. There? I think it's one of these two. Anyways, I'm gonna guess it is this one. That's correct. Yeah? Yep. I'm guessing that it's this one, but I'm probably wrong. I'm gonna say this. this one. That one. Okay, it's probably, it's probably the one on the right here. No, it's, uh, I would say play button first. I'll say here. No, it was that one. Well, you don't have like the visual cues, right? Like you're used to seeing that triangle, and then for the past four, like the double triangle on either side, and then the square for stop. Like that, you're not used to kind of where they would be. If there weren't tape on the button, I would be able to see it, like the symbol, and the symbol is pretty universal, so I'd probably be able to recognize everything. Um, at first it was a challenge because there's so many buttons everywhere. You never really think about like these things. Despite already gaining universal recognition, the play button is relatively new to society. The play button stems from a mid-1960s audio device called a reel-to-reel -reel deck. These devices, similar to a giant cassette player, consist of audio tape which passes through a reed head and is then translated into an audio signal. Advances in technology resulted in these devices becoming smaller, and it became harder to fit words onto the buttons. Instead, symbols were made as a representation. When playing, tape in the reel-to-reel -reel player moves from left to right, so for the play button, an arrow pointing right is used. The other symbols branched off from this design. The fast forward is a doubling of the play button to represent a doubling in motion, and the rewind is a reverse of this. The pause button soon followed. The pause symbol is frequently associated with the musical notation cesura, which represents a rest or pause in music. The play button was the first step in establishing the media icons we rely on now. Chances are you've used the play button dozens of times today without even thinking about it. So the next time you're about to hit play, pause to think about how important this simple icon really is.